Okay, we are drawing a Summer's Beauty Seascape. And this is inspired by Vincent Van Gogh's artwork titled The Starry Night. And the story that we're basing this on is called The Busy Life of Ernestine Buckmeister by Linda Raven Lodding. Because um, they're so busy in the story that they are not stopping to notice the beautiful scenery and enjoy the summer and enjoy beautiful weather. So we are going to, with our artwork, show how much we enjoy beautiful scenery. So I'm going to start in the middle of my paper with a wavy line and you'll probably want to draw with pencil first. I'm drawing with permanent marker. And our landscape is abstract. And I would also say that Vincent van Gogh's landscape is abstract. The starry night is an abstract landscape. It's not supposed to look like real life. I'm going to leave a little bit of space and make another wavy line. I'm going to try to follow those same curves, but if they don't follow exactly, that's fine. And then I'm going to do one more down here. So the Starry Night was painted in 1889. And one of the really important things about the Starry Night is that you can see um, Vincent van Gogh's brush strokes the direction that he was painting. You can see the lines. And that was part of the post-impressionist movement. We're going to make a circular shape, like a half circle, not the whole circle for the sun. Nice and big. And also, um, this Starry Night is an example of a landscape. And then we're also going to make our lines coming out for the rays of the sun. I think sometimes it's easier just to make them shorter at first and then extend them out longer afterwards. But you can go right off to the edges of the paper if that's easier for you. So Vincent van Gogh was one of the most tragic artists who ever lived. He wasn't very happy for much of his life and nothing ever seemed to go right for him. He never even smiled in his self-portraits. He always had problems during his life with the way that he felt. And one time he became so angry and upset that he cut off part of his own ear so that's one of the things that most people remember about Vincent van Gogh. But when he felt good, he painted better than ever. He made the stars and the starry night seem like they're really shining. So I'm going to go back over my lines and make them a little bit thicker. So if you are using Crayola markers, you're going to use your black last. I am using a permanent marker, so it's not going to bleed or blend into any of my other colors if I use it first. So this just gives my lines a more interesting quality and helps them to show up better. I suppose if you had a thicker marker, you might not have to go over it more than once. But I do kind of like the way that it looks a little thinner in some areas and thicker in other areas. I just think it adds a little bit more interest and variation to your artwork and to your line quality. So it takes a little bit more time to do this. 
but I think it's worth the effort and time. And we don't need to rush. That's the great thing about, about art. We can go at our own pace. And if it doesn't get finished, doesn't get finished, we can go back to it. But we like to use our time wisely. So when we do have the time, we can relax and make our art and enjoy the process. Even if it doesn't always come out as beautifully as we would hope. There's something to be said for focusing and getting lost in the creative process. And there's also something to be said for leaving your inner art critic quietly at the door as you enter the space where you decide to make your art. And then you can um, decide also how many lines you want coming out from your sun. You might want to add more lines into your um, waves of your water. You're the artist, you get to decide. If something doesn't look quite finished, you can always add more. So I wanted to keep this landscape very simple and abstract. Well, I suppose technically it's a seascape. Picture of the sea. Picture of land is a landscape. So we're doing this as week two of our summer art and reading challenge for summer 2023, but you can always do your art whenever it's convenient for you. Okay, so now I decided for my background, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow, red, sorry. <laughs> Red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow. So then I switched here. Orange, red, yellow, orange, red. Oh, I see. I did a um, kind of like a mirror image. So you might want to decide which way you're going to place your colors before you start coloring. Um, and that would depend on how many lines in case if you need to feel like you need to add any extra lines. Um, as it is now, I could do red, orange, yellow, red, orange, yellow. Let's see, that's yellow. Red, orange, yellow, red, orange. So I might need to do one more if I want it to be that same kind of mirror image. Okay, so good luck with yours. I hope it turns out just fabulously for you. And I hope you are enjoying your happy, happy summer.